Good evening and hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have been able to share with you guys of what it's been like for me to live with autism. Other times I've given my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media as well as I enjoy uh, slamming uh, topics that are just not okay because uh, I have my opinion just like these top know-it-all experts have their opinion about individuals with autism. Uh, a new thing that I do now is I like to start giving tips to uh, individuals on the spectrum and their families and to peers and to special education teachers and general education teachers, social workers, potential or current employers, job coaches and other types of work supported environments and I also like to uh, talk to uh, individuals in our community as well as uh, many others across the board. And finally, what I will do is I enjoy covering topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this blog, what I would like to do is I have some tips for uh, other individuals on the spectrum like myself, and it's really some advice because I think it's very critical that you guys hear this. And I think it's something that you could possibly carry with you down your road of life. And what I would like to do is tell you guys a little backstory without going into too many other details, uh, just to give you an example. So I had been friends with someone for about eight years, and we did a lot together. And we had f good times and bad times, of course, like most friends do. And it was uh, at the last legs of the relationship that things became toxic. And we most recently had a fallout um, uh, last year in early 2014. And um, they themselves are on the autism spectrum. And because they've had a bad time with society accepting them, uh, they've just had a really bad chip on their shoulder. And they've been brainwashed to think that they're broken, that something is wrong with them. And so they're really depressed about what they want to do with their lives. I mean, and yes, they're working and they're married and... I'd say they have a lot uh, going for them, but they're mad because they don't have some high-end career and that they're frustrated because they don't know what they want to do with their lives. And I remember uh, sitting down with them uh, back in uh, June because I had some things I wanted to go over with them because I wanted to know what I did wrong in the relationship. And one of the first things they did when we sat down we were waiting for our tea was they broke down and started crying and their attitude to me was I'm sorry I'm not Sheldon Cooper oh my life I felt like this big pile of dog crap so I wanted to give you guys some advice about that okay first of all it's sad that people in our society have to make us feel like we're piles of dog crap just because we have autism which you know automatically uh, means that we have a disability and that uh, entails that we're broken. Unfortunately, that's their opinion, and they're entitled to think that way, but they are not welcome to get into your thoughts, and they are not welcome to make you upset. Like this girl that, that said those things about herself, that uh, she wasn't Sheldon Cooper, okay? She chose to feel like she was a pile of dog crap, and she continued to take it out against other people that wanted to make things of themselves, and people who believed in themselves that were complete optimists. And uh, the second thing I wanted to mention, too, is um, they mentioned to me that uh, they weren't Dr. Cooper. Okay, yes, it's great that Dr. Cooper is a physicist, and uh, he had all kinds of great things happen to him. Like he was um, 12 years old when he entered into um, a college setting and he was able to um, go on to, uh, to be the youngest uh, scientist to get his PhDs. But there are two problems with that. A, Dr. Cooper is a TV show character. He's not real life. A second thing too is Dr. Cooper, yes, he's on the autism spectrum and he does a lot of really good qualities, but... And a lot of other things, he has very poor social skills, he's very self-centered, very self-absorbed, and he's also mean. And I'm thinking, uh, I don't think this person would want to be Sheldon Cooper, 
not if uh, he has those kind of traits. So if you're not a scientist, don't feel bad. There are all kinds of other things that individuals on the spectrum can do. A lot of them go into acting, like Dan Aykroyd. He's a brilliant actor. Um, we, have, uh, we have an artist like Steve Jobs. He was not a scientist. He was an artist. And he was able to uh, design calligraphy and create the iPhone. And yes, we have uh, the mathematicians like Einstein. But, you know, uh, my, my words to you is, again, you have a choice to feel like... Uh, you have a choice. Do you want to feel like dog crap the rest of your life? Good for you. But it's up to you to not let what other people say to you bother you. And that's what, something I'm working on myself. And I most recently realized that myself. And just because somebody says something about you doesn't mean it's true. I mean, granted, you could be the next Albert Einstein or you could be the next Steve Jobs. But... Um, I, I don't agree with people that whine and look at everything in opposite negative way like, oh, some people uh, in the world of autism think that uh, only some people can do it while the rest are all broken. Hey, I don't agree with that. Like, for one thing, we had a, no a nonverbal uh, woman with a human detour system by the name of Carly Flishman, and she rocked back and forth. She had her tantrums. And we all found out that before her brain damage, that she could um, write things into a computer and tell you what she thought. And I found out, we found out that she and her father were able to write a, um, a novel about what it's like for her to live on the spectrum. I mean, looks can be so deceiving. I mean, just because someone has autism or just because someone has cerebral palsy or Down syndrome, is not going to stop them from having special talents that people may remember them for. So, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, I would be happy to hear from you, so please state below.